Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to my third and final squad build I did when I was at the EA headquarters in Canada and um, this squad I decided to go with the highest rated 5 star skillers on the game. Maybe a bit of a weird formation to go with but yet again I wanted to take advantage of the fact that Legends links up with everyone and this is generally a formation that's a little bit tricky to get chemistry with everyone in so I, I took advantage of a legend in this squad and tried to get everybody in full chemistry. So in the net, we do have a Lopez, um, and he looks to be an alright goalkeeper on the game this year, but I do still think there'll be better options for you um, in at least a league on. Moving on to the first centre-back, we do have a Younger and Beaver, and um, he um, he looks to be a good budget centre-back for you. French centre-backs overall will just be good centre-backs you can pick up for probably pretty cheap because there's so many of them. I decided to go with Mangala and Younger and Beaver for my centre-back combination. Then on to the right back spot, I got, went with Debushi. Um, Aided defending and the rest of the stats uh, in sort of the 70s, apart from his shooting. And of course, he got that strong link going to Mangala. And the final player of my defense is a Brazilian, which I think probably will be quite expensive. Uh, maybe the most expensive left back on the game after maybe the Legends, of course. It is Marcelo, uh, Brazilian La Liga, sort of high rated. I guess. Uh, Alaba and Alba might be a little bit higher, um, a little bit more expensive than him, but I could see Marcelo being a pretty expensive player from the start of the game. Uh, and then we do have Ensante to sort of link between La Liga and League on Ensante there with some uh, some pretty good stats for CDM. And the same thing goes for my other friend CDM. Um, he's not that fast, but he got some good defensive stats and physical stats, and that is Kondogbia now at Inda. And uh, yeah, it's just two strong, tall rocks in my midfield, basically. So win the ball and uh, set or start my counter attacks, basically. Now on the left mid, we do have Ronaldo, 93 rated, five star skills and incredible stats, no doubt about that. So yeah, he is my left mid. He links up with Marcelo, of course, and. Um, yeah, he is uh, he's a machine on the game, just like he's been on the previous Fevers for many years. On the right man, we do have Quadrado, 93 pace, 87 dribbling now at Juve. And uh, yeah, he looks to be just as good as last year, to be fair. His stats are very, very similar. He did get a rating downgrade, but he still looks to have his pace, has his, uh, have his dribbling and the five-star skills. And then moving on to the striker spot, we have another transfer player. And that is Dybala, and I really enjoyed playing with Dybala in this squad. He's 78 rated, he got the pace, uh, good shooting, uh, and good dribbling. Him and Quadrado, I could see them linking nicely up together in sort of division squats. Um, he only got me three goals in 12 games, but uh, it was also mainly the formation I played with. I did struggle a little bit with it, but I, I tested out a bunch of different players here. And the final player we had in is Pele. Um, the highest rated skiller on the game and then we have Ronaldo the second highest rated and I think Cudrado is probably the highest rated on the right hand side of the pitch um, so that was pretty much the squad I went with and played with the formation I didn't really like that much but I wanted to see if I can get full chemistry in it and that worked out and eventually I managed to get some clips here's a nice little panner on the defender from Ensonsi my uh, defensive mid and uh, then we have another little panner here it's Pele to panner the defender with the little touch there and hit it into the back of the net with a little uh, dink of his toe but there you have the panner yet again I, and I just love panners on the game because they are sort of difficult to pull off because there's not really a right technique to do it you just have to get a little bit lucky to pull them off he also got a little bit lucky to break on through with a Pele and he goes past the keeper and hits it in with the Rabona shot into almost the top corner nice little goal there and then we move on to the Dybala goals and I managed to score a couple of chips with him and chip shots they are definitely somewhat different on the game this year. They're not as easy as they were last year. Maybe I just haven't adjusted enough to them because I struggled a little bit scoring them. But uh, Dybala was definitely a good player to shoot with, I felt. Yeah, he had some good shots on him. And here I have another cheeky little chip in off the post top corner, literally. That was a, a really, really nice chip for him to, to get me a goal. And Pella here setting up. Ronaldo, who of course also scored me a couple of goals. Here he breaks on through into the box and he finishes off with a top corner finesse shot. Very, very nice little shot here. Now, I did also run into a bit of problems with my recordings here uh, as I did in my last squad build. It was a little bit frustrating when trying to record stuff because some of the gameplay just... Um, 
I just messed up and I couldn't use it. So here you have me checking the goal out and sort of the instant replay. Ronaldo beating two defenders and a Rabona shot here to score. And there we have a replay of it here as well. I just really love the Rabona shots on the game. They're really, really nice. But anyways, that is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>